All right, guys, Microsoft is back at it again. Old Billy boy can't help himself. This time, they're ramming BitLocker down our throats. We have no choice. Well, I'm going to cover that in a second here. But by default, you have no choice but to encrypt your entire system volume or your entire hard drive if you're installing Windows 11 24H2 or if you're doing a reset of your PC that's running Windows 11 24H2 or newer. This is just crazy if you ask me. Now don't get me wrong guys, I think BitLocker is awesome. Definitely has a, a place in the world. Uh, it's a great feature. Keyword there is feature being optional. Hello. Uh, but not being forced. That seems ridiculous to me. If I want to encrypt my drive, great. Give me the option. Don't force me to encrypt my drive. This is crazy. Now, what's even crazier in my opinion, guys, they're not only doing this to the pro editions, which you'll usually find in a, a corporate setting, they're doing this to the home editions too now. That's insane. You know users are not going to follow the proper procedures. They're going to be clicking through the installation, getting to the UBI, the out-of-box experience, and not backing up the BitLocker keys. Or if they do, they're going to forget where they put them. They're going to overwrite the flash drive if they save it there. They're going to print it out, and discard the paper later, and guess what? They're going to forget their BitLocker pin. Something's going to happen, and boom, their data is gone. Their entire drive will be locked. I've seen this happen all too many times at work. Uh, we have a, a good method now of backing up the keys. Um, but anyways, this is not right in my opinion. And look, guys, I know some of you are going to comment and say, what's the big deal? Just get a Microsoft account and it'll be backed up to your Microsoft account. Well, that's not the end all be all because you can get locked out of your Microsoft account as well. Plus, not all of us want a Microsoft account. Like, I never set up my PCs with a Microsoft account. I do a domain join instead and create a local account, and I think a lot of us do that. Now, is this an angle, yet another angle from old Billy Boy to get us all on the Microsoft account method? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he just wants to rule the world at the end of the day. Either way, not a good look and a solid black eye for Microsoft in my opinion. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I know I'm going to hear that from some of you guys. Oh, yeah, you're talking about backing up the key and losing it. What if you have a Microsoft account? Yeah, good luck with that. And again, I, that's a whole other topic, the Microsoft account thing. If you want to get in bed with Bill Gates, sure, go right ahead. And I know there's a time and place for that, corporate settings where you're running 365. But for your home PC, desktop, Microsoft account, eh, I don't know. Do not enforce this by default. Like I said, BitLocker has a place and it's a great feature. Keyword is feature being optional. Yes, should it be enforced in corporate environments where there's sensitive data? Of course it should. You should be encrypting your entire drive, whether it's BitLocker, Veracrypt, something. But allow the IT team at that corporation to enforce that via policies, whether that's group policy, SCCM, or some other third party solution. Do not do this by default, Microsoft. You're not going to listen to me because you've already done it. That's right, guys. 24H2. If you haven't heard about 24H2, this is going to be the newest release. Release to manufacturers. It'll be the release to your consumers starting probably September, October this year. So what does this mean? This means that if you perform a clean install or a fresh install of Windows 11, 24H2, which again will become the default version after probably September, October this year, you're not going to have a choice out of the box. It's going to encrypt your drive. If you do a system reset when you're running 24H2 or above, it's going to encrypt your drive. This is BS. Like, I, I can't believe they're actually doing this. Again, I know I sound like a broken record. It's a great feature, it's a great option, guys. It should not be mandatory because what's going to happen? You're going to have end users who are not IT savvy. They just need a computer for their daily life that are not going to follow those procedures, back up the keys. Even if they do, they're going to misplace them. And guess what? They're going to be locked out of their own device, which is ridiculous. Okay. But there's a caveat. If you're already running Windows 11, obviously, eventually, you're going to get updated to 24H2. This will not impact you. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So if you're already on Windows 11, 23H2, any other version, you should be on 23H2 by now. But regardless, if you're upgrading from a previous version or previous build of Windows 11 to the new 24H2 when it becomes uh, available to end users, I'm running it now in a uh, insider preview build. I run Canary on my VM. Um, if you upgrade to it, it will not force the encryption. However, if you ever have to do a reset once you're on 24H2, it's going to force you to do encryption. It's going to force you to use BitLocker. This is this is insane. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> first the ads, they're going to start putting back on the start menu and all that, and now you're going to encrypt my drive by default? This is just, I, I can't even believe they're doing this. This is crazy. Okay, so let's talk about this a little more. Like I said, not only professional editions, but now they're also going to ram it down your throat if you're running Windows 11 Home, which is just crazy. Now, obviously, I want to share tips with you guys on how to get around this. Like I said, one way to get around this would be to install, let's say you have to do a fresh install for whatever reason. You can grab yourself an ISO of 23H2 if you can find it. Usually you can go to archive or whatever and find an older version. Uh, right now it's the new version, 20, 23H2 is the newest version. So you might wanna go download that ISO now from Microsoft and have it handy. Because if you had to do a fresh install in the future, that's one way you could do it. Install 23H2, and then go ahead and run the updates and it'll get you up to 24H2. And that would bypass the uh, automatic encryption because that starts on a fresh install or, res or a reset of 24H2. There are a couple other ways we can do it. We can use Rufus to build the ISO. And then we can check the box here under the custom Windows user experience to disable BitLocker automatic drive encryption. I'm going to give you guys the link. I've got three articles here uh, talking about the automatic BitLocker in 24H2. I'll give you the links to all three of these, so don't worry about writing down the URLs. That way you can read up on this on your own, guys. These are very good articles that have written up. Uh, this one is probably the most informative from Windows Latest. Uh, but yeah, that's one way to, well, that's the second way that I talked about to where you can circumvent this uh, BS force of BitLocker. So Rufus is one way, and like I said, you can install 23H2 and then update from there to 24H2. That would get you around it. And then the uh, third way, I know I'm scrolling all over here. I apologize, guys. The third way is a little trickier, but it's pretty cool. You can actually bring up registry edit. Well, you're not actually bringing up registry edit, but you're going to bring up a command prompt during the installation process. So you can hit shift F10 during the install and that should bring up a command prompt window to the front of the screen and then you can launch regedit from there so if you type regedit that should launch the registry editor and then you're going to follow these instructions to navigate to H key local machine system current control set control bit locker and then you're going to create a new D word value and that's going to be prevent device encryption all one word and then you're going to set the value to one, which is going to turn that on. So you're going to turn on it. You're going to create a new D word and then turn on the feature prevent device encryption. And this should allow you to not have your device automatically encrypted by Mr. Billy Boy, Bill Gates. This is, this is just, uh, I, I shouldn't say unbelievable because it's Microsoft at the end of the day, guys, but I don't understand why they're doing this. I do understand that BitLocker is a great feature and it can secure your data. But again, for the consumers, this can do more than secure your data. It can flat out lock you out of your computer for good. BitLocker is strong encryption. By default, it's going to use 128-bit AES, uh, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they don't go with 256 out of the box, but it's 128. Either way, you're not going to be able to get in. Um, yeah, so your mom, your grandma, your sister, whoever, you're going to you're going to get calls, guys. If you're the IT person in your family and you're going to feel bad because you're not going to be able to help them out in these situations. People are going to lock themselves out of their computers and they're not going to be able to get back in. And I'm sorry, that's that's just what it's going to be cuz again, your average consumer is going to install next next next, go through this, oh, BitLocker, I don't know what that is, but I have to select an option print the key, back up the key to a thumb drive. So they're going to have to click on one of those, right? 
and I think last time I checked, you can even click print and then say that you printed it. Again, consumers are just going to whiz their way through the installation wizard and get into Windows and sign in and get on Facebook or whatever they're trying to do. They're not worried about the tech side of it, right? There's going to be a lot of people locking themselves out of their own devices. This is crazy. I, again, this is a this is a bad decision by Microsoft, in my opinion. What do you guys think? I know I've said this already, but in a corporate environment, yes, force it, but allow the IT team to force it. Don't do it at the manufacturer level, at the Windows operating system level. This is just ridiculous, right? You need to give us the option to turn it on. Do not ram this crap down our throats. Thanks a lot, Bill. Another home run from Microsoft here. Oh, guys, this, this one pisses me off, I won't lie. Because <laughs> I can already see, you know, friends and family end up in this situation where they're locked out of their own computer. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. Switch to Linux at this point. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is almost funny. I don't understand why they're doing it. But yeah, guys, I'm going to do another video um, where I install 24H2. I did it on a virtual machine and I did not see this in the Insider Preview build, but that may be because I'm on a VM. I'm going to do another video where I install this 24H2 or do a, a system reset. And I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to show this in action to where it's actually prompting me to or no i'm sorry it won't prompt me or it's actually forcing me to enable bitlocker right so that'll be probably like the first cut of the video and then i'm going to walk you guys through how you can get around this so i'll i'll use different methods uh that we talked about here whether that be the rufus iso creation or the uh registry hack within the installation process but either way i mean yeah for if you're IT savvy, you probably are. If you're watching this, you're at least familiar with computers and Windows. Sure, it's not a huge deal for not a huge deal for us, excuse me, because we can do these little you know tricks and workarounds to to get around it. But for 99% of the population, your end users, consumers running home, like why are you doing this to Windows 11 Home Edition? That's crazy. Like, do we really need our drives encrypted at home? And if you do, yeah, okay, do it as an option, enable it. But do you really need to force your home consumers to encrypt their entire drive? I don't think so. Like, I don't think there's a big threat of people walking in our house and stealing our PCs. Like, that's probably not going to happen to most people. And if you're paranoid about that happening, then turn on BitLocker, but don't ram it down our throats. Oh, man. All right, guys. <laughs> As you can tell, this one is a, a little bit frustrating to me because it, it just doesn't make sense. Again, if you want to like tell us how important this is, sure, flash it on the screen a couple times. Hey, warning, you should encrypt your drive. This is why you should encrypt your drive, but don't enforce it. Like, Give us the option, steer us in the right direction, explain why, but do not make it a default setting, guys. All right, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're going to 24H2. Uh, again, if you're updating to 24H2, it's not going to force you. But keep in mind, if you ever have to do a system reset or if you ever have to do a fresh install starting with 24H2, this is going to be on your plate, guys. And again, probably not a big deal for you guys, but your home users, no buenos, because you know they're going to click through it and you know they're not going to save those keys and you know they're going to call you and you're going to be like, sorry, nothing I can do. All right, guys, let me know what you're going to do. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, does this steer you away from Windows more than before? Let me know. All right, guys, appreciate you sticking around at the end of the video. Do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're shooting for 10K this year. Really appreciate your support. The only way I get there is with your guys' help. And uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Obviously, it pissed me off, but let me know what you guys think. All right. Hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care, guys.